a fuzzy and aggressive little hyperkinetic rabbit, teached you that sadism is a credit to your profession. Zorn is showing you Sam and Max on the smartphone to remind you a little bit faster. Zorn doesn't recommend playing this game on a telephone. This is absolutely stupid. You can't control a shit. Check this out, if you would like to talk to Max, you won't be able to find the hotspot. Because it's too small. This is ridiculous and absurd. It's nonsense. I can't talk to that. Go and buy yourself a personal computer. Never mind. Play this game on MS-DOS or, at least, with DOSBox on your Windows PC. If you missed Sam and Max during your childhood, you have probably become a prude, well-behaving deadhead. Or even worse, a hipster. Zorn knows that if you know Sam and Max, you truly know what passion is. Passion for good detective work. Passion for passive aggression, as well as passion for active aggression. Zorn knows that you love little sociopathic rabbits. Sam and Max, the freelance police, were created by the genius Steve Purcell. They debuted 1987 in a comic book series and become heroes in their first LucasArts adventure game, Sam and Max Hit the Road, which came out in the year 1993. Now have a look at this beautiful box. It's the German issue. You remember how your mother bought you this game for Christmas 1993. You have just turned 11. You remember how you get the floppy disk version first. You remember how disappointed you were because you wanted always a CD-ROM version of this game. There haven't been any voices on the floppy version, so you went back to the store with your mom and changed the floppy into the CD-ROM version. The manual is really nice. And the game came together with an official walkthrough. The design includes a lot of lovely details and some comic strips. You really the look and style of this box. Zorn thinks that Sam and Max Hit the Road belongs to the most funniest games ever made. On the box it says that it's just for children of about 12 years of age. It says that the humor is delicate. Zorn knows that you truly laughed as a child while playing this awesome point-and-click adventure. As you look into this walkthrough booklet, you remember how you learned to draw it by imitate and reinvent some of the Sam and Max comics.
Meanwhile you've checked out new Sam and Max titles. Zor knows that you don't like them. They've been the usual telltale crap. A waste of time. Look at their graphics. It's in 3D. This doesn't have anything to do with cartoon or comic graphics. This is bullshit. Zor knows that you never wanted to play a sequel like this. It should have looked like the first game. Or maybe something in the style of the Curse of Monkey Island. Better you have a look at the animated series. Even if this have been published by Telltale lately, it is way more true than their Sam and Max games. Zorn recommends, forget the other crap. Just go for a Bigfoot hunt again. Hey. <laughs>